make sure that when you come in Persia Grill, you're coming into our home. This is an extension of our home. We really pay uh, attention and we give extra focus to our coffee. Kahit na may food kami, we have good dessert, but really wanted to create a, a good coffee experience for the customer. Welcome to Star Biz, your line to the businesses of the stars. Today, we are featuring two totally different specialty restaurants, Kian Kazemi's Authentic Iranian Persia Grill and the 100% truly Filipino Luna Cafe of Direct Lino Cayetano. Welcome to Star Biz. This is our carpet shop and uh, I want to introduce you to my kuya or should I say my dad? Let's go guys. Salam ba? Salam, salam. They have a special audition sa Pinoy Big Brother Season 2 sa mga nagko-commercial. So, dati sa school, nag-ano lang ako eh, nag, nagsa-sideline ako ng mga commercials at saka PVC, uh, VTRs. Nung sinabihan nila ako tungkol sa audition, sa, sabi ng mom ko, oh, sige, subukan mo dahil wala ka pa namang ginagawa. At saka, since uh, yung, yung nag-aaral pa ako, Ang plano ko talaga, magpatayo ng restaurant at nagbebenta ako ng sandwiches sa school. Mga kebab wrap, ganyan. Tapos nag-take order ako sa mga classmates ko kung ilan yung gusto mo para hindi, para siguradong mabenta at hindi masayang. So, uh, I was really uh, trying to be an entrepreneur already before. And then, uh, Big Brother came knocking at my door and it was a great opportunity uh, to enter show business in that way because it's a priceless experience dun sa bahay ni Kuya, kaya nakakatuwa na lang. Nabalik bahay, hostage. Bakit? Bakit? CG. Kinila mo na lang yung isang bata. Tapos ako, kikinamin mo din. From there on, I was lucky enough to have uh, a break in the several shows on TV and on film. Also, I, I was able to do my dream job, which was hosting a travel show. Uh, on ABS-CBN, trip na trip. Kasama ko sila Kat De Castro, Uma Cooney, and Jason Gainza. I did several uh, mga, mga teleserye. Kasama ko si Gerald Anderson at si Jay Cuenca at Kim Chu, yung uh, tayong dalawa. At uh, maliban doon, nag my big love ako with Tony Gonzaga, Sam Milby, at marami pang ibang nagawa. Before Kian Kazemi even entered the Pinoy Big Brother house, likas na sa kanya ang pagdinegosyo. Nasa puso ko na, nasa dugo ko na talaga maging businessman. Dahil uh, dati, yung parents ko talaga nagsimula yan sa wala. Nagsimula yan, nagbebenta lang yan sa, sa may baklara na divisorya. Tapos uh, talaga nagtsaga sila. Uh, they trained me na kailangan pinaghihirapan mo lahat ng mga bagay at huwag mong don't take it for granted. Kaya pati yung allowance, hindi ako basta-basta binibigyan. Kailangan daw pagtrabahuan ko. We started with garments, mga clothing and you know, my mom, nag, nanana, may, may uh, sewing shop siya, mga mananahe, at saka yung dad ko, nag-Persian uh, carpets, gano'n. So, this, uh, this carpet shop was our first business, and like everything here is all uh, classic and uh, well-maintained, handmade uh, products from Iran. So this one is, uh, what do you Na Namakdun. They used to put salt in this during a uh, hundred ago. years ago. So everything here is really a work of art, investment of passion. And my dad is like the, the founder. It was passed on from generation to generation. Now I'm learning the business along the way. This carpet shop is very sentimental to me. Dahil dati, yung nag-aaral pa ako, at studyante lang ako, dito ako kumukuha ng allowance ko kasi hindi ako basta-basta binibigyan ng allowance ng parents ko. So I had to work for you know my allowance and I was a secretary here. And this carpet shop has been here for more than 20 years and everything here is investments of passion, we call it. Because every handmade carpet is done in different regions in Iran. Each region may kanya-kanyang specialty. Tabriz, Esfahan, Shiraz, iba-iba yung technique ng craftsmanship at handmade to. Kaya lahat ng mga kliyente ng dad ko, talagang mga art collector sila. So this is an exquisite work of art. So if uh, you own a Persian carpet, you have a timeless masterpiece. Each carpet comes from different region. And let's say like this piece, this comes from a nine. Nine is a very small town 
in, in, in Tehran, in Iran, which is known all over the world. It's a very famous design. We call it Mahi design or fish. And it's because of the, these small, small things, they believe this is a scale of fish. Very, very popular. Nowadays, the designers are looking for something cool for the different places, or less busy, something like that. Expert talaga ang Kazemi Patriarch pagdating sa carpet business. And Kian is slowly but surely following his dad's footsteps. So ito po ang mga engineer namin sa carpet. Sila po ang uh, mga well-trained namin na uh, trusted men. Danny and Robert. Oh Dan, kamusta na yan? Huh? Brand new na. So ang ginagawa namin dito sa Kazemi Persian Carpets, kung meron kayong kailangan na i-restore na carpet, at uh, importante para sa inyo yon ibalik yung dating ganda niya, kaya po namin gawin. We clean and repair carpets who have holes or damages. Alam na rin po nila ang mga klase ng carpet kasi po matagal na po sila dito at uh, katiwala na po namin yan. So, train po ng dad ko yan at uh, talagang binibigay nila yung puso sa paggawa at pag-repair ng carpet nyo. Kaya siguradong back to its natural beauty, yung Persian rug. And from the flourishing carpet business, pinasok na din nila ang pagtatayo ng mga restaurants. Since yung nasa college ako, I love food na nga. And sabi ko sa parents ko, graduation gift na lang nila sa akin, ay magbigyan nila ako ng restaurant, start up capital, at babayaran ko naman sila pag nakabawi na. So I'll take you to Persia Grill so you can have a taste of Persia. Let's go. So we're here now in uh, Bonifacio Global City. This is our newest branch of Persia Grill. So let's take a look. Welcome to Persia. So this is all designed by uh, my family and I. And I asked some help from uh, some stu artists, students who are uh, taking up art in uh, USD. They helped me paint this perfect portrait. So this is an old uh, Iranian style classic painting and it signifies that food brings people together. So that's why I love the restaurant business because you know, food is a source of life. We enjoy eating and food brings people together. So this is the perfect business for me. Because of Kian's innate passion for food and business, itinayo nila ang Persia Grill. Persia Grill was born out of, you know, my family's kitchen. Nakipagbiroan lang ako sa mga classmates ko sa college. Sabi nila, bro, ang sarap ng food mo. Kasi mom ko yung nagluluto ng mga recipes. And from there, the idea, you know, started and it became a reality because I believe in uh, the power of your thoughts. You have to think of something. If you have a dream, you have to protect it. You have to go after it and make sure you stay focused, determined, and be persistent. Pusong Pinoy man itong si Kian. Di may pagkakaila ang pagkakaroon niya ng dugong irinya. Especially when it comes to his expertise pagdating sa Persian cuisine. Thank you. All right. I hope you guys are hungry. Salamat. So here we have the pesh gaza, which means uh, appetizer platter. And we have all four dips with handmade pita bread that we make ourselves. This uh, was our recipe back home. And now uh, we trained our staff to make uh, fresh bread every day. And we have different dips. This is the masokiar, which is uh, our homemade gourmet yogurt with pepino and some herbs. And ito rin yung isa po, ito yung baba ganoush, which is grilled eggplant, roasted, 
and we added some extra virgin olive oil and some spices. And of course, the famous hummus. It's made of chickpeas and olive oil, tahini. So this is one of the most popular dishes. And this one is the salad olivier, our version of the potato salad. But we blended it with some egg and uh, boiled chicken. So it brings out the full flavor of potato. And it's a full meal on its own. But this is our best seller when it comes to the appetizer. So let's dig in. I never get tired of our food. Of course, our best sellers are uh, the different kebabs. Kebab means grilled food. So we have like the beef, lamb, tenderloin, grilled chicken kebabs. Of course, our lamb is also very uh, delicious. Talagang babalik balikan nyo yan. Dahil uh, halal certified din kami. At uh, uh, yung pagkain namin, may mga biryani kami, may mga vegetarian kami, mosaka, other vegetarian dishes. So talagang pag health conscious ka at uh, gusto mo yung pagkain na masarap, quality at uh, magaan sa bulsa, talagang matutuwa ka dito sa Persia Grill. Thank you. So I also ordered the kebab platter and our server here will show you guys when you dine in Persia Grill that we make our own uh, burani which is like a Persian salsa. So we have our own signature garlic sauce that we make ourselves and signature hot sauce that people love here in Persia Grill. And we also have our yogurt dip. This is another, uh, it comes with every kebab meal. So, but the platter is good for sharing, but when you have a big appetite like myself, sakto to sayo. Kathleen, show them how it's done. So first, she's gonna get the two grilled tomatoes. She's gonna dice it up. And then I'm gonna help her out, add some fresh cracked peppers. And then my mama's signature secret yogurt dip. Gotta add that there. In Iran, we love yogurt. We eat it with everything. We make yogurt shake, we eat it plain, we put cucumber, we make sauces, we marinate beef, everything. So a little salt, thank you, that's enough. And then add some garlic sauce. Oh, a lot of people love this. And my favorite, our signature hot sauce to spice up your life. And then in the kebab platter, it comes with two sticks of kubide, which is ground beef kebab. And then we have a stick of pika, which is a chicken breast marinated in pika uh, um, spices and herbs. Also, we have the tenderloin kebab and the morgue, which is uh, marinated in lemon and saffron. Then you just add it up together, like so. It goes well with the meat, it brings out the full flavor. Mm. You can't go wrong. And then the chicken, you add a bit of burani sauce, which is the blend. You can either eat this with pita bread or our Persian rice, which is also delicious. It's long grain basmati. Rice, please. Sadyang napakasarap ng mga pagkain sa Persia Grill. Kaya naman mula sa isang restaurant, lumago na ito into several more in just six years. The first branch was established uh, around six years ago. Uh, when After I got out of Big Brother, I was around 21 years old, 22. And it was in Salcedo, Valero Street, in Valero Car Park. It was a car park. 60 square meters lang, mga 20 na tao lang yung kasha. 
Tapos simula doon, lumami yung tao, sabi nila, palakihin nyo naman to. So, yung demand ng tao na, na gusto naman nila yung pagkain namin, nag-extend kami. Ngayon, we have uh, almost 10 branches in the metro and we're open for franchise. We just signed our first franchisee. It's going to open in Makapagal, in Blue Bay Walk, uh, this coming year. And also, we just opened the one in Pasig, Capitolio, sa may Ace Hotel and Water Spa. Our staff, they work from the heart. They give their passion to, to their work. And we make sure that they have the same dedication our family has. Because we make sure that when you come in Persia Grill, you're coming into our home. This is an extension of our home. So, kilangan si siguro dui namin na pagpasok yun dito, maalagaan talaga kayo. They should serve you with a smile, and they're trained well, and they always, you know, do their best to make your experience a memorable one. I'm Ruel. I'm the OIC here in the uh, uh, Global. Almost one year here as a server. Three months they promote me as OIC. Serve kala na maayos, tapos gidi kala sa guests. Kailan lahat ng hingi ng mga guests namin, bibigay mo sa, sa kanila. Si Boss Kiyang kasi po, bali pagtrabaho, gusto niya trabaho talaga. Walang, wala kalong, ano. pero pag ano naman, okay naman siya, pwede naman siya kausapin sa mga problema. I'm a um, cashier server here at Persia Grill Global. And then, three years na akong nag-work dito sa Persia Grill. Um, yung kung bakit ako tumagal dito, siguro dahil mababait kasi sila, boss Kian, tsaka yung family niya, mababait sila pagdating sa staff. Hindi nila tinuturing na iba yung mga nagtatrabaho dito. Na hindi gaya ng iba na pag boss ka, kailangan ma, parang matapang or ano, sila hindi. Parang down to earth sila na ituturing kanilang kapamilya. Satisfied yung customer pagdating lalo na sa pagkain and then sa service. Kasi pagdating sa service naman, inaalagaan naman namin sila. Eh. Lahat ng kailangan nila, lahat ng gusto nila or request nila, binibigay namin. Yeah, I'm a regular customer. I started off in the original branch in Valero. And uh, uh, I used to live in Salcedo, so I just walk it and... Uh, Ever since then, I've, I've been a regular. This is years ago, maybe four, beginning four years ago. I always order the same thing every time I'm here. The cello kebab kobe there. So the ground beef skewers with basmati rice. And, uh, I always request for grilled onions because meat and onions is the best combination anyone can have. Service is good. Uh, it's, it's the same service as ever since... Uh, the old branch. Now, of course, we're here in the fourth branch. It's, it's the same service. I come back for the same thing, so I can't complain. As long as they don't change the recipe, then I'm happy. At ito ang sikreto ni Kian sa mabilis na pag-asenso ng Persia Grill. I think the success of Persia Grill is, is a component of different things that you have to have harmony with. First is the passion for your business. Second is the creativity, the quality of food, uh, how, how delicious we make it, and the, the people that we work with. So teamwork makes the dreams work, and I make sure that each branch tries to work together, respects each other, and all of these elements create the success of Persia Grill. But my goal is to make Persia Grill known, not because I'm the owner, because we serve authentic quality Persian cuisine at reasonable prices and consistent. So gusto ko talaga yung Persia Grill yung umangat. Kahit hindi na nila ako makilala, okay lang. Importante, yung pagkain, hindi nila makakalimutan. Mula sa bahay ni Kuya, dahil sa kanyang passion sa negosyo, his love for food, and his heritage. Isa na ngayong successful businessman si Kian Kasemi. Please come visit Persia Grill. I'm sure you're gonna have a memorable experience with our uh, authentic quality Persian cuisine, reasonable prices, amazing ambiance. I'm gonna make sure that every dining experience is gonna be a good one. So just visit us, 
at persiagrill.com.ph to find out the closest branch near you. From an authentic Iranian cuisine at Persia Grill to a 100% pure Filipino restaurant, silipin natin ang Luna Cafe ng prolific TV and movie director, si Direct Lino Cayetano. Hello, Starbiz. Welcome to Luna. Tuloy po kayo. Siguro sa kultura lang kasi natin, Pilipino, di ba, na um, yung ah, napakalaki ng saklaw nung, ano, eh, nung entertainment, napakalaki ng industriya natin. But technically, talagang ako, I really work behind the scenes. No? Tulad nyo, dyan sa likod. Um, yun yung profession ko. So I studied film in UP, nagturo din ako sa UP. So... Buong buhay ko, bago nagtrabaho sa industriya, um, preparasyon yon para sa pagiging isang director. So, technically, I don't consider naman myself a celebrity, but of course, because of how our, kung paano natin minamahalo ni Ayakap yung industriya natin, in a way, parang tayong iba, uh, nagiging parte na ng mundong yon. So, nagtapos ako ng film dito sa UP, and then I studied abroad ng dalawang taon. Pagbalik ko dito, hindi ka agad ako nag-practice sa industriya. Nagturo ako ng tatlong taon. So, I taught in UP Film also. I taught directing. And then, after nun, my first job was directing a reality show in, in another network. Um, yung Starstruck. So, Starstruck was my first show. So, kami nagbuo nun. Kami nag-conceptualize um, with the GMA team. There was a creative team, and then I was with them for almost one year until I moved to ABS to focus on doing drama, which I, I really love. Technically, yung una ko sa, G, sa ABS um, was maalaala mo kaya. Um, but yung unang show would be a little big star yung kay, ano, when Charisse was, she was a contestant doon, si Sam Conception was a contestant. Um, sa drama naman, after maalaala, yung unang soap ko was Anghel na Walang Langit. It was a soap opera with Derek Mario, De Jay De Los Reyes. So, tinuturing ko na parang mentor lang si Derek Mario. 2006, um, I directed yung unang pelikula naman ni Kim and Gerald. First movie nila, first movie ko rin. Yun yung I've Fallen For You. So, after that, um, I went back to directing soap. So, yung last three ko, all with ABS, was um, Noah with Piolo. And Zijan, um, uh, recently Ariana with Miss Pokwang. And then, kung ako iiwan mo, ito yung tungkol sa mga OFW with uh, Jake, Shaina, and Banks. This last uh, two years, or sa Congress, the last six months, I was elected uh, Congressman of the Second District of Taguig. Um, but for now, that's, uh, that's a three-year term, so I took a leave from directing. So now, I'm really focusing on um, my work as a congressman. And then, um, what, before I ran, I was already planning this coffee shop, yung Luna. So ngayon, um, nahati yung oras ko pag walang session, wala akong work sa district, in uh, looking after the coffee shop. But may sarili siyang management team eh. So it's more of, um, parang yung passion ko, Tsaka yung spare time ko, I just spend it here dito ako minsan nag, uh, nagbabasa, nagwo-work, nagkakape sa umaga. It's my first, um, it's my first na parang mas hands-on ako. Pero grupo kami dito eh, malaki kaming group. But before this, part rin ako nung Slice, yung ano yun, it's a, it's a cafe uh, ni Ate Pia and also her group of partners. So pati yung... Um, Kami magkakapatid, no? we always involve each other and ask advice from each other. And Luna's specialty coffee was born. Ano kaya naging inspirasyon ng Direct Lino dito? Mahilig lang rin ako talaga sa coffee. You know, mahilig ako sa kape and um, I really wanted a Filipino uh, coffee shop. So, um, ako I really enjoy... Uh, I enjoyed the, the atmosphere here in Fort. No, daming magandang mga bagong restaurants. <coughs> um, parang naha-harness talaga yung talent no, ng mga Pinoy chefs, um, Filipino baristas. So, naisip ko rin, since um, 
natuto ako sa slice working with my sister. Um, uh, me and a few of my friends na mahilig sa coffee, um, we thought na merong puwang uh, para dun sa Filip isang Filipino coffee shop. So, uh, Luna is a, a Filipino coffee shop that serves uh, all-day Filipino breakfast. Luna is significant in Filipino history, di ba? May dalawa tayong Luna na importante sa kasaysayan ng bansa natin, si Juan at si Antonio Luna. Sa pagkain namin, ginawa rin naming basihan si Juan at si Antonio. Si Antonio Luna, dahil isa siyang general at isang chemist, um, yung focus namin to detail at yung precision. Kasi sa paggagawa ng kape at sa pagluluto, kailangan maingat ka sa detalye at saka maganda yung sistema mo. Sa isang banda, si Juan Luna naman, isang artist, isang creative person. So, sa palagay namin, sa paggawa ng tamang kape, magandang kape, at uh, cuisine sa aming pagkain, kailangan balance eh. You have to be creative, but at the same time, you have to have attention to detail. Um, also, it so happens na yung isang side ng family ko, yung lola ko, is a Luna, si, si Juliana Luna. Talaga namang malikain itong si Direct Lino. Hindi lamang sa pag-isip ng pangalan ng coffee shop, kundi hanggang sa detalye ng disenyo nito. Kaming grupo, we always talk. But siguro dahil director rin ako, concerned ako sa anong itsura niya. So yung mga dingding niya, binase namin yon sa bahay ni Juan Luna. No? Hindi naman luma yung bricks na yan, bago lang. Pero yung look niya, parang gusto namin... Um, it's a space na comfortable, masarap makipag-usap. Tayo sa creative kasi, mahilig tayo makipagkwentuhan. Um, inaalam mo yung buhay ng ibang tao kasi marami tayong mapupulot. So here, um, yung kumapansin mo yung lugar namin, pwede mong kausapin yung chefs. Gusto mo tanungin kung ano niluluto nila, pwede mong kausapin yung barista. Kahit kayong kumakain, magkatabi kayo, sa so, akin yung parang the art of conversation is also so important. And part siya nung konsepto nung uh, cafe namin. Coffee lovers kami nila Lino, no? so parang naghahanap kami ng kape na mas may quality. So pagka, ibig sabihin ng specialty coffee kasi parang strict kasi measurements ng coffee, hindi sinosobrahan ng milk, no? so tamang-tama lahat ng measurements. So yun, naghanap kami, so bihira kami makakita dito sa Pilipinas. Gumawa kami ng sarili namin. So we went in different countries no? para... Uh, i-assess lahat ng mga coffee shops na masasarap doon. Tapos yung iba, in namin dito. Yung discipline, yung sarap ng coffee, kaya yun. Doon nag yung Luna. One of my friend introduced me to him when, when he, before he will ano, open Luna Cafe. So, I'm the one who will create our specialty coffee and then pray to them how to drip the hand drip, hand -drip coffee. It's my first time, but I'm a coffee lover. It's like a place that you go to after work to unwind before you go home. So it's very cozy. People seem to know each other. So it's a place where you can uh, unwind before retiring. Purely Pinoy, pero talaga namang world class. Yan ang kape ng Luna Specialty Coffee. Our coffee is what's really special. Napaka, ano, may mahilig rin ako sa... Um, coffee and sa coffee shop. So I, I, I love a lot of um, other Filipino 
and even the foreign coffee shops. I enjoy ko sila lahat. But here, um, we really pay uh, attention and we give extra focus to our coffee. Kahit na may food kami, we have good dessert. But really wanted to create a uh, good coffee experience for the customer. Si Chef D na magkakwenta sa inyo more about our cuisine. So yeah guys, this is the Luna Kitchen. So I'll just introduce you to some of my staff. This, these are this, these are my sous chefs, Benjun and Nam. They're the ones on the floor all the time prepping everything is done properly, making sure everything is cooked well and garnished well and fixed everything. So as you can see, this is our Miss and Plus station. Okay, you see all the corned beef bits, the alamang, some fried ginger strips, garlic fried. So everything, like every time you order, like by five minutes, ten minutes, we want it to be like, quick, quick out. It's kind of like a fast food, but everything is prepared fresh. Okay, and here is our more of like our brick oven where we heat up our pandesal. Our pandesal is made fresh every day in our commissary and they deliver it here and this is basically our flat pandesal so every time we get an order we just put it in a pan heat it up put all the sauces all the ingredients mix it and then pop it in the oven and then bust it out okay and here's one of my trainee christine say hello <laughs> So she preps well, so it helps out in the kitchen, make sure everything is done right. She's training, making sure that she knows what's going on in the kitchen and everything. Everything, we want to make sure everything is fast paced, clean, because it's like, it's like we're putting on a show. So yeah, so that's what my guys do. And here, what we have here in this station, we have our mga samalamig, you know, as Filipinos, we have mga sagogulaman, we have melon. We have buko with uh, simple syrup, pandan simple syrup. Okay, so these are the guys behind our, our coffee machine. Okay, these are the these are our baristas. Okay, so we have Ken and Berna. Okay, we have Ken and Berna. They make the coffee every day, of course, fresh. And our cashier, honey, show yourself. So these are all, all of our stuff, you know, it's like, uh, yeah, we try to make everything fresh in front of you. Masarap at Pinoy na Pinoy ang kanilang kape. Kamustahin naman natin ang mga pagkain dito. In our dish, it's, you may think it's simple, it looks simple, but we put our heart and our thought into it. Like, let's say we have our corned beef tapa. We make our own tapa. We make, we cure our own beef for about a week. And then we pair it with a crispy belly rice. So that crunches from the crunch from that belly parang. And then this you have a salty corned beef tapa with the vinegar. So everything complements each other. All right, so what we're gonna prepare for you guys is our, our specialty corned beef tapa. Okay, so our sous chef Benjamin is preparing. Uh, these are we use Japanese rice, okay, para mas masarap yung kain natin as Filipinos and everything. What he's putting here is uh, the crispy, crunchy, crispy belly. Okay, that's our corned beef belly. Okay, na pinak crunchy namin and everything. So in every bite of the rice, may parang may may crunch kailan. Okay, so yes. So all our rice is like seasoned, okay, we make sure it's the taste is there of the, the fat and everything. Okay, now we put the egg. Okay, now it depends on you, like if you want it like fried tostado talaga or malasado pa or like, you know, it's, it's your call and how you want to eat your breakfast, of course, and how you want your eggs done, right? Okay, and right here, this is our, this is our corned beef. So this beef, okay, we cure this for five days. Okay, five days in chiller, and then palambot, and then after we fry it. Okay, we want quality food for our quality guests, of course. 
okay so yeah basically that's that's it we just garnish it with a couple of uh, garnishes okay that's paprika okay parsley and then we put a side of our our house vinegar okay we have our garlic pepper some chilies in there so you see it's kind of red and uh, yeah basically that's our that's our corned beef tapa same with our bangus it goes with a garlic toyo rice so that saltiness and the smokiness from the bangus and then you have salted egg top things on, on top that's for me that's filipino i grew up like eating toyo bangus and then made kamatis and it looked na maalat right and yeah we have like pares which is but we make it like angus pares okay and we have our signature sandwich is the flat pandesal we have longan longanisa pandesal our pandesal is baked fresh every day and we make it different different approach we make it flat so not your usual pandesal na all airy inside we make it just like flat so you eat it like like a soft taco okay so i don't know are we trying to make a trend or something no it's more of like we want we want to cater we want to show the filipinos like how we can step up in our cuisine if we want to show the other countries like like you know this is who we are and everything we we get dishes from the spaniards from the chinese and everything now it's time for us to kind of reinvent it and show them that this is pinoy this is how we eat it and we enjoy it like that it's my first time here in uh, in luna i heard this place from my friends I heard that they got the best tapa in town, so you should try the corned beef tapa and the Angus Paris. And you should come visit here and uh, you, should see the, you should see the food and the coffee for your awesome experience. The favorite ko dito is first yung Angus beef tapa and secondly yung Luna Brew na cold. Uh, very awesome. Of course, uh, with Chef Dino on the decks. Uh, awesome experience. Ilan lamang yan sa mga satisfied customers. Satisfied din kaya ang mga staff ni Direk? Uh, like any restaurant, we um, continuously interview people and hire people. Um, important dito yung mahal nila yung trabaho nila kasi nga there's a lot of interaction with the customer. Open kitchen nga kami, so um, kahit sino pwedeng makita yung ginagawa mo. So kitang kita mo kung uh, they're doing their work with passion. So, ako yung importante lang sa amin is we hire people who, who love what they're doing. With the staff, he treats everyone like his family. That's a good thing about Nino. You know? and, and the feel of the restaurant. We are family. Sa morning, ako kasi yung parang show chef ni Sekyo, ni Dino. Ako yung taga-check ng mga stocks, kung ano yung kulang or yung wala. So, parang ako yung right hand chef din. Ah, uh, si Direk Nino, kaya tayo naman po, um, sobrang bait po. Um, siguro wala ka namang masasabi sa kanya kasi sa pinapakita niya sa amin, mabait talaga si Direk. Actually, gumagawa ako ng mga drinks and other juices dito sa... Luna, bali sa akin nakadepende lahat ng drinks na lumalabas. Si Direk, very humble na tao. So, wala kang masasabi sa kanya, napakabait, napaka down to earth na tao. My position is executive uh, barista and uh, coffee consultant. Uh, I'm consul co uh, consultant of, of coffee here. Yeah. Direk Dino is very good person, personal, very kind. Then also for business, he's a very you know, intelligent. Yeah, I like him so much. We're like brothers. He treat me like his brother, and that's what I love because it's it's family. It becomes a family, and eh? everything that we do, it's like we do it together. I ask him like, direct, is this like, is this good? Tell me honestly what you think and this and that. He tells me, everyone like the group tells me what they think, and that for me, 
is the best thing that I can get. Everybody loves Direklino. Ano pa ba ang mga plano ni Direk para sa kanyang Luna Specialty Coffee? Ngayon, um, some people already are talking to us about pwede, kung interested ba kami to open in other places or to franchise. I think um, we're focusing on this the next uh, few months or the next year. Pagandahin namin lalo kasi yung Luna, we like to work with local products. So dito sa Tagig, we have local products that we use na likas ho dito sa, ano, galing dito sa Tagig. So eventually, if we branch out, gusto namin i-keep yung identity na yun. Now we work with local products of different areas. So it will take time, but definitely we're looking to have um, we're looking to to open in different in different places. Yan si Direct Lino Cayetano, a talented director, esteemed public servant, and now a successful businessman. Sa mga mahilig sa kape, uh, ang sarap mahilig sa Filipino food, um, visit us in Luna. Uh, and um, try to enjoy the atmosphere, bring friends, and uh, I hope you get to experience and love it the way we love it here in Luna. Luna Coffee PH. Yan. So Twitter, Instagram, chaka Facebook. Luna Coffee PH. And that's another episode of Star Biz, featuring the businesses of our two handsome celebrities. Both have Pinoy's, one invested in his Iranian heritage. The other embraces Filipino side. Pero, parehong may 100% delectable food, 100% successful business, and 100% pusong Pinoy.